Hi, boys and girls. Today we're going to talk about subtracting integers. What I like to call add the opposite. When you subtract integers, you can actually turn the problem into an addition problem. Say you have this problem. 5 minus a negative 3. An easy way to solve this problem is instead of doing subtraction, you can change it to an addition problem. Think of when we learned how to divide fractions. Remember we changed the division problem into a multiplication problem? There were just a few steps and it made it so much easier. We're going to do the same type of thing for this. So you're going to tell yourself, instead of subtraction, you're going to add the opposite. That means that the first number in your problem, when you rewrite it, the first num number never changes anything. So the first number in our problem is a positive 5. So we're going to copy that down positive 5, and then we come to the subtraction sign. Well, we're going to make this an addition problem. So we're going to change the subtraction to addition here, and then we're going to be adding the opposite of negative 3. So what is the opposite of negative 3? It's positive 3. So when we say add the opposite, what we're meaning is change this to addition and then change this to its opposite. And that becomes 5 plus 3, which we know equals 8. So much easier than 5 minus a negative 3, which seems like a harder problem. Here's another example. I have negative 12 minus a negative 6 equal something. Well, in order to solve this subtraction problem, I'm going to change it to an addition problem to make it easier for me to solve. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to write down or recopy my negative 12 because this never changes. First number never changes. And here's where I change the subtraction and I'm going to make it addition by adding I'm going to add the opposite of this. So now it's negative 12 plus the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So now I've changed my problem to negative 12 plus 6 equals something. To solve that, I might want to use a number line. If I'm new to adding and subtracting with negative numbers, sometimes a number line helps me to figure out the, the answer to the problem until I get more familiar with it and then I won't need to use a number line. So here's my number line. Here's the zero. So these are positive numbers. These would be negative numbers. And I'm going to start at negative 12 to solve my problem. So there's negative 12. I'm going to put my dot there. And I'm going to move in the positive direction six spaces. Well, positive is always to the right. So I'm going to move my dot to the right six spaces. And I will end up right here. And that would be negative 6. So that's my answer. Negative 12 plus 6 equals negative 6. So that's my answer to the entire subtraction problem that I started with and I changed it to a much easier addition problem and I found the answer. Okay, here's some more examples. Here I have positive 8 minus a negative 6. Well, I'm going to change that into an addition problem by copying the first number down and that would be an 8. I'm going to change this to a plus. I'm making an addition problem and I'm going to add the opposite of negative 6, which is positive 6. That changes it to 8 plus 6, which I can do in my head. 
That's 14. No big deal. So easy. Here's the second problem that I'm going to try. I'm going to make this one, since it's a subtraction problem, I'm going to make it in, in, into an addition problem by copying the negative 5. That doesn't change. I make this add the opposite. So I'm going to add the opposite of positive 9 is negative 9. So now it becomes negative 5 plus negative 9. And if I drew a number line, I would start out at negative 5 on the number line, and I would go um, in the negative direction 9 more. So that would give me a negative 14. I think you're ready for the exit slip. If you don't feel ready, or if while you're doing your exit slip, you decide that you don't really remember how to do it, come back to this video, go through it again. You can go through it as many times as you want until you understand how to change a subtraction problem into an addition problem.